For the longest time, investing in Detroit, ooh, that was scary, right? You're like, hey, man, I invest in real estate. And people are like, oh, man, it's cool. Where do you invest? And you're like, Detroit. And people are like, whoa, bro. Do you got a bulletproof vest? Do you got the cops on speed dial? Do you carry an AK-47 to collect rent, right? This is what people say about Detroit, right? Detroit's had a, a bad rap for years. Sometimes, sometimes... They earn that reputation, but things are changing in Detroit, y'all. Things are changing, and they're changing for the better. And today we're going to go over the five best neighborhoods to invest in if you're in Detroit, Michigan. What's up, y'all? Welcome to the show. My name is James Wise, and I'm here to answer your questions, and I'm here to answer questions that... You have questions you don't have, but I think you should have. I'm here to give y'all that information, okay? And today I want to talk about Detroit. A lot of you have questions about Detroit, right? Detroit. People are, you know, curious about Detroit, right? Because Detroit, man, that's like probably one of the most synonymous uh, markets out there with like sketchiness, scariness, crime, trouble, right? Uh, but things are changing in Detroit, y'all. Today we're talking about five neighborhoods in Detroit that are really changing. I think these are the five best areas you could be investing if you're trying to get into Detroit, right? Because Detroit, it's got like super low pricing, right? So I know a lot of you guys are attracted to that cash flow, but you're like, oh, dude, I don't know, man. What's it going to be like in the future, James? We've heard things about how Detroit is bankrupt. Detroit has no police force, like no budget for their police force. Like, I want to make money. I don't want to get shot. I don't want to lose my money. You know what I'm saying? Like, these are the things that people like fear and think about when they think about Detroit. But I'm telling you guys, Detroit's on the rebound. Detroit is the city that is being revitalized. Is there a lot of sketchiness in Detroit? Oh, hell yeah. Is there a lot of ghetto in Detroit? Oh, hell yeah. Is there a lot of crime in Detroit? Oh, hell yeah, guys. There definitely is. Uh, but you're going to get that anywhere you're in the Midwest, right? Holton Wise, we operate all types of ghettos, right? Cleveland, there's a lot of ghetto. Akron, a lot of ghetto. Cincinnati, Ohio, a lot of ghetto. Toledo, Ohio, a lot of ghetto. Baltimore, Maryland, ghetto. Indianapolis, yeah, there's ghetto. Kansas City, Memphis, do I got to continue? Anywhere y'all go in the Midwest, there's going to be some ghettos, right? You can make money in the ghetto with Section 8 investing, right? But the real key to making serious money, guys, is you get into these rougher neighborhoods early, neighborhoods that turn around. If you can get in before that gentrification train starts chugging all the way out the station, you can get that low-cost cash flow and then that big, beautiful, fat appreciation paycheck on the way out. That, that is what the real investors do. If you could time that right, you could predict that stuff right, you can do that the right way, you're going to be filthy, freaking rich, man. And these, these five neighborhoods, I think they're primed for that, okay? Now, a lot of people just like to be spec investors and just throw fucking bullshit out there, right? Just, just throw out guesses. Man, fuck that. We ain't throwing out guesses, dude. If you're going to throw out guesses, just, <laughs> just, just fucking play the lottery or something. I don't know. If you're going to throw out guesses, go play roulette, man. At least you'd be right like 47% of the time if you just bet on one of the colors. No, what I like to do, I like to gather data and look at factual, tangible things when I'm trying to predict neighborhoods that are going uh, to grow, to appreciate, right? L look at what's actually happening. Look at, like, institutional investing, state investing, things of that nature, right? And what I got for y'all here, I got five neighborhoods right here on the screen, five good little projects in these neighborhoods we're going to be talking about, right? My friends over at Logical Property Management, okay? Logical Property Management, just so y'all know, those are the folks I work with when I do deals in Detroit, okay? Those are my motherfuckers, right? The owner of the company, smart guy. He knows what he's doing, okay? That dude, like, eats, breathes, freaking lives and sleeps Detroit, okay? That dude is all about it. And he put together this article for y'all, and I want to talk about this article because it really highlights what I'm talking about, okay? Now, what we have here, 
is Michigan, right? Detroit is on the brink of yet another exciting transformation. Thanks to a generous $14.5 million state grant awarded by the Michigan Economic Development Court. Okay? Corp. 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 Okay. So what we have, y'all, you have developers going in, right, to these particular neighborhoods, and the state is backing it, right? It's backed, right? They're like, yo, these five neighborhoods in Detroit, we need to fucking get the shit up. We need to make it fucking better, okay? So when you have the government working in tandem, right, you know, scissoring. If the government and, you know, developers are scissoring each other, y'all, if they're fucking getting in there, what that's going to do is that's going to take low-cost stuff, rise that tide. So this is where y'all motherfuckers need to be paying attention. You could buy a Section 8 low-cost rental property anywhere in Detroit, dude. You could, like, close your eyes, throw a fucking dart at a map of Detroit, and they're going to be some low-cost shit, okay? But you need to make sure you land in one of these five areas, okay? Because these five areas... We have actual tangible things happening in these five areas, folks. These five Detroit neighborhoods, a lot more money than you could put out, right? Big things are happening, so there's a good chance five years from now, seven years from now, 10, 15, 20 years from now, your low-cost property is going to freaking arc much more than other ones if you just picked Detroit neighborhoods at random, right? So let's talk about this shit, okay? The Broadway Lofts development, okay? So developers are doing a $38 million proposal uh, to do some, like, new construction, historical preservation, okay? And they're doing, like, a nine-story, 80-unit uh, complex, all right? And they're doing low-income, low-income stuff, right? 20% of these units are going to cater to people making 60% of the median income in the area, okay? Right? So part of this $14.5 million from the state, this government money, is going to the Broadway Lofts development, right? Pay attention to that area. Invest. How about this one? The Fisher 21 Lofts, okay? You got uh, the Fisher Body Number 21 plant in Milwaukee Junction, okay? They're taking 600,000 square feet, okay? 600,000 square feet, they're turning that into 433 units, okay? 433 new units, right? That is a big thing, right? They're doing that. State's coming in. They're kicking in some money, okay? How about the Arthur Murray Building in East English Village, okay? So you got developers doing an almost $15 million development there, right? 14.9 development in East English Village, okay? 25,000 plus square feet, right? It was like a fucking dance studio. Now it's going to be a 32-unit building with some retail space, okay? So pay attention to the East English Village, all right? Jefferson, Intermediate School District Project, Midtown, okay? The old Jefferson School near 4th Street and Selden Street is being transformed into an office building. The developer has promised that 20% of the office space will be dedicated to businesses owned by Detroit residents and will be offered at below market rents, okay? So it's like low-income business development, right? That's cool. That's an interesting spin on things, right? Usually you see things where you get private and public money combining and they're looking for low-income housing. Well, these motherfuckers are like, let's do low-income businesses, man. Let's put motherfuckers to work. Let's help people be entrepreneurs. I like that. That's, that's pretty cool. That's unique, right? And then lastly, the Devec... I can't talk. I'm so fucking excited. The Deco Development, okay? $1.2 million going towards renovations of an 8000 square foot commercial building on East Warren Ave, which will include a restaurant in six apartments, right? Okay, so part of that fourteen and a half million of public money, right? Going to this one point two million dollar development. Okay. So these are five projects, five neighborhoods, right? Five projects and five neighborhoods in Detroit that I want you guys to pay attention to, right? So if you're looking for them low income properties, y'all, try to get as close to these these locales as you possibly can because people probably in the know 
a little bit more than you, a little bit more than me, are sh putting their money where their mouth is, right? Like, I mean, shit, dude, 38 million, and then they're getting public money towards that, right? I don't know about y'all, right? How many of y'all out there are watching this right now, and y'all got $38 million to put into some Section 8 houses? Probably not a lot of you, okay? So these people, right? They're in the know. Follow them, right? You don't got to reinvent the wheel, guys. Follow the money, okay? Follow the money. And for more insight on the money and how things pop in Detroit, how to manage your Detroit rentals, how to make money investing in Section 8 real estate, regular real estate, any type of rental property investment, right? You got to focus on following the money and listening to people in the know, right? You can subscribe here to Holton Wise TV to hear more about that. Or you could also reach out to my friends, my buddies at Logical Property Management Detroit. They are managing a massive portfolio of rental properties in Detroit, Michigan. And if you want to bounce ideas off of them, talk to them about taking over your portfolio, helping you become a real estate investor. I will put their contact info in the notes below. Let's go Detroit. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.